I want to talk about holding the camera. Um, I, I was a little bit hesitant to get this model, uh, all because, you know, first off, it has a full touch screen display in the back. And I was afraid that, you know, if I hold the camera like this, this is how I naturally hold the camera, just like this. I was afraid I might push some of the options um, on the screen. But if you can see, there's a little bit of area where there is no uh, touch screen. So that along that black right there. So essentially, you know, maybe I can hold it like this. You can see I, I won't be uh, touching that that the uh, touch screen area. But you know, there there is room right there, literally a few millimeters where I can actually hit. So let's see if um, there's any features on the camera that can actually help you. And I did find it. Um, it's hang on, let me reset it. Uh, this is the. OLED 3.5 inch screen, very beautiful, but you can see if I touch it there, it, it'll automatically focus. So if I'm holding it like this, you know, trying to shoot, you know, I'm going to accidentally hit something that's going to focus off somewhere where I don't want to. Well, here's how you can actually uh, prevent that. You can actually uh, press uh, this button here. It's right there. It's off. Once you press it, that's it. It won't let you focus on anything. Now, if you shut it off, see, it's got your pocket again. Try to quick shoot. You can see it's still locked. And the only way you can go back to all the uh, menu screens is by holding that for a second, and it pops up. Very cool feature. Um, that was essential. I mean, when I was playing around with this, uh, right after I shot the second video, um, I was contemplating returning it because when I held the camera like this, I kept hold I kept pressing all the wrong buttons. But with that, I can simply block it and that's it. I'm good to go. So holding the camera is very comfortable. Um, you can see you can even grip it like this because the flash is there and, and, and the uh, the lens is there. The only thing you can't do is hold it like this because your finger will get in the way. Let me demonstrate that for a second. You see? This is a wide angle camera. So really, the only way is holding it like this. Or you can even rest this finger here, just like that. But a little bit more, and you'll you'll cover the lens. So you're walking around, flip it down. Let's see how quickly we can shoot shoot. Let's do it again. Off. Fairly quick. Very quick. Very impressive so far. The only thing is, um, when, when you're trying to pull it down, it's, it's pretty slippery. I tried opening it with one hand. It's, it's, it's very tricky. Because you really gotta use the end of your finger to really push that down. So really, it almost requires two hands to do it. But that's okay. Very light, hand, very light, very light camera. And the back screen is gorgeous. All right, that's uh, handling the camera. Fairly easy for those of you who own the HX5V or uh, any other non, you know, I call it like a very, like a chocolate bar, non, or uh, not the zoom like comes out uh, camera. Uh, rest assured, uh, you'll be fine for all your Memorial Day, 4th of July weekend getaways. Uh, this is almost the perfect camera because you want to carry this around. When I had the HX5V, great camera. I love it. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, did not like some of the image quality. I, I thought it was fine. You know, I don't view my images in full uh, detail anyways. Uh, but I didn't want to carry the HX5V around because it was bulky. Uh, if you're curious what the HX5V looks like, go and Google it. Um, it's, it's a great camera, had 10x zoom, but the bulkiness, I just didn't carry it around as much as I did. So hopefully this camera, I will feel more comfortable carrying it around because it's much slimmer. 
Um, and that's it. Thanks for viewing.